Hello everybody, John Abella from HikeLighter.com. I just received a package from Appalachian Ultralight. It is a pair of their prototype trucking poles. Uh, I did buy them. Full disclosure is I bought them. Uh, full price, which was $100 uh, plus shipping. And um, I'm going to open the box. Let everybody see what these uh, look like. I believe they call these the bare batons. What makes these, and I haven't seen these before, obviously, they're brand new. What makes these unique is they're a fixed length, but they also have this huge cork handle. Ooh, that's really soft. That is really, really soft cork. Um, by soft, I mean uh, velvety to the touch. Um, it There is a, a little bit of squeeze to it as well. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this on camera. But there's definitely some squeeze to the cork, and that's really nice. And that is the that was the selling point to me was these uh the the cork handles. Got my tape measure here, and I'm sorry for those of you outside the U.S., but it's a American tape measure. So that's just the length of the cork. Uh, the full length of the handle. Is dead on 15 and a half inches. So see if this will focus. It is just a flat piece of something. I don't know if that's rubber or cork. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to put my very sharp knife back in the sheath. Um, at this end, there is a little loop here. Suppose if you wanted to um, use it as a method of securing a tarp or a tent or something like that, you could use that. Or a wristband, if you wanted to use a some type of wristband, you could put on there. On the other end is a simple... Uh, carbine tip. It is a one piece carbon fiber shaft. I believe the length on these is 132. Hang on. Yeah, total length is 132 centimeters. Anyway, uh, I bought I bought a pair of them. So uh, there's the pair. And I'm gonna reset the cam. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video, take a couple pictures of these on a scale. Uh, they are listed at um, 10.75 ounces for the pair uh, on, the, on the website for these. And this is the last pair uh, as a pair of prototypes. Uh, in communicating with them, this is the last pair that they plan on making. Um, my guess is they weren't selling or didn't sell at all, so uh, this might be the last pair that they ever make unless I somehow make these popular, which I doubt would ever happen. But um, yeah, look at that. That's so. The reason I bought it was this double. It was this really long uh, uh, cork handle, you know. And being a fixed length, it means that if you need to to hold low. You know, while going downhill, you can do that. But at the same time, if you're going uphill and need the extra height, uh, you got it up there. And it works in, as the same principle as my Z-Pax car. Whoops, just kick my stand. It works in the same principle as my Z-Pax uh, carbon fiber staff. And just to give you an idea of the length difference, let me put both of these at the same length. 
All right, it's even on that end. So there is the length difference between the um, between the two. Let me grab a tape measure here. We have eight inches of difference between the Z-Pax carbon fiber staff and the Appalachian ultralight bare batons. So that's not all that much of a difference in regards to height. Um, I'm going to, uh, it's really, really windy outside, which is why I'm shooting in here. It's like a 35 to 40 mile an hour wind outside. So I ended up having to come back in here and, and shoot this video in here. Uh, there was just too much wind noise. Uh, but I'll, I'll get these onto the scales, take a picture of that, and then go see if I can get the tripod to stand up outside. If it can, then I will take a picture of me holding both of those as well as holding this and this just to give you guys an idea of how they look together. Alrighty.